Imagine cars soaring above buildings, bridges, and highways, a concept that has been a long-held dream. With over 70 million cars being added to the roads annually and cities grappling with urban sprawl and traffic jams, the need for a solution has never been greater. However, there's a challenge. The aviation industry deals with flight, while automakers focus on building cars. This clash has left us with unanswered questions about regulations and licenses for flying cars. Can you simply fly your car to work? It's a complex situation as various flying car brands have emerged, but gaining permission to fly them within cities remains a hurdle. Now, one company, Toyota, is poised to lead the charge. Toyota, much like numerous other players in the car and aviation industries, has taken a leap into the futuristic world of flying cars. What exactly are these flying cars? It's a question that sparks intrigue and fuels our imagination. But first, let's clarify the nuances. These flying cars blur the line between terrestrial vehicles and airborne wonders. They're not your traditional cars that you'd park in your garage or navigate through city streets, nor are they your conventional planes that take off and land on runways. They occupy a realm somewhere in between. Toyota's version of the flying car isn't just an ordinary road vehicle with wings strapped on. It's not solely an airplane with wheels attached either. It's a hybrid, a hybrid of innovation and ambition. At a glance, it seems like a car that can achieve the extraordinary, leaving the ground behind and soaring through the skies. However, the catch lies in the fact that it doesn't maneuver on roads. It's a vehicle engineered for flight, for the sensation of soaring above the landscapes that cars typically navigate. It's a spectacle that straddles the worlds of automobiles and aviation, crafting a new dimension in transportation. But Toyota's audacious venture into this arena is merely a fragment of a larger phenomenon that's gradually taking shape. Flying cars are no longer confined to the pages of science fiction. They're becoming tangible realities. The concept isn't limited to mere airborne vehicles. It involves reshaping our notions of mobility, rewriting the rules of travel. Intriguingly, this burgeoning industry isn't just a playground for innovation, it's a battleground. An arena where automakers and aviation giants are converging, their expertise clashing and intertwining. It's a dynamic clash of visions and capabilities, each party striving to redefine the future of transportation. However, this emerging landscape isn't without its complexities. Automakers and plane manufacturers are both stepping into each other's territories, sparking a rivalry for the ages. They're blurring the lines between what's a flying car and what's an Evtol. Confusion is rampant, and it's a sign of the epic battle brewing between these industries. What's clear, though, is that this convergence is shaping the future, a future where wheels might become obsolete as transportation options evolve to offer hovering, flying, or a combination of both. This might sound strange, but it's the reality we're headed for. And here's where the war heats up. Car manufacturers are vying for supremacy, championing their eco-friendly technologies like electric vehicles, EVs, and hydrogen fuel cells. Meanwhile, the aviation industry has its work cut out, as they are yet to find sustainable alternatives for traditional aviation fuels. Now, let's dive into what Toyota has been up to in the world of flying cars. But hold on, what exactly are flying cars and how do they fit into this picture? Imagine vehicles that can not only drive on roads, but also take to the skies. It's like mixing cars and planes together, Toyota, like some other companies, has joined this exciting field. But guess what? Toyota isn't the first to join this flying car adventure. Companies like Hyundai have been testing flying cars since way back in 2017. Toyota didn't want to be left behind in this race, so they decided to jump in and compete. They partnered with a startup called Joby Aviation, which was already doing some cool stuff in the flying car world. Toyota invested a bunch of money, around a few hundred million dollars, to help Joby Aviation develop flying cars. This partnership brought together Toyota's experience in making cars and Joby's expertise in making things that fly. So, what did Toyota and Joby want to create? 
Well, they had their eyes set on making a flying car that's electric, can carry a few passengers, and fly pretty fast, up to 200 miles per hour. They also wanted it to be super quiet, way quieter than the loud helicopters we know. Why are they doing all this? Because they believe that flying cars could change how we get around, just like cars did when they were first invented. They wanted to create a vehicle that could go from driving on roads to flying in the air, kind of like a taxi for the sky. But here's the thing, Toyota's flying car, called the SkyDrive SD05, doesn't look like the flying cars you might have seen in cartoons. It's a small aircraft that takes off and lands vertically, sort of like a helicopter. It has a bunch of propellers and electric motors to make it fly. Now Toyota's not alone in this adventure. Other companies are also working on similar ideas. In fact, a company from China called Xping Era is testing its own flying cars, and they're already using them as taxis in Dubai. Back to Toyota, they're aiming to have their flying cars available for regular people to use by 2025. But of course, there are a lot of rules and safety checks that they need to follow before that happens. So what's the big deal about all of this? Well. Imagine a future where you can drive your car on the road, and if traffic gets too crazy, you could simply take off and fly above it all. It might sound like something from a science fiction movie, but it's becoming real, thanks to companies like Toyota. Now, let's dig deeper into the challenges that Toyota and other companies experimenting with EV tolls are grappling with. These challenges revolve around the size, capacity, and weight of the batteries. You see, while flying cars are often touted as ideal for short inner-city trips, the reality is that a large portion of potential buyers want more. About 90% of those interested in flying cars are looking for vehicles with impressive range and speed. Why is this the case? Well, it turns out that many of these potential buyers live in lavish homes far from their workplaces. Their sprawling estates and luxurious residences are often nestled in the countryside within exclusive areas. For them, a flying car isn't just a mode of transportation. It's a symbol of opulence and convenience. They dream of being able to travel to their offices or meetings as quickly as possible, covering distances of up to 200 kilometers in just one hour. And guess what? They want to do this on a single battery charge, it's all about showing off their new high-tech toy to their friends, taking scenic detours, and returning home in style. For these elite customers, paying a few million dollars for a flying car isn't a problem at all, and they're willing to do so to have a vehicle that aligns with their high-speed, long-range demands. Now, let's explore some of the real contenders in the flying car arena. One that catches our attention is the Klein Vision Air Car, a creation engineered in collaboration with BMW. This sleek vehicle can transform from a car into a plane in less than three minutes, thanks to retractable wings and folding tail surfaces. Equipped with a 160 horsepower BMW engine and a propeller for propulsion, the air car is a true hybrid, functioning on both roads and in the skies. It even comes with a ballistic parachute for enhanced safety. With over 70 hours of successful flight tests, including maneuvers at a 45-degree angle, this prototype has already proven its capabilities. Another remarkable player is the Renault Air Force. This innovative vehicle has secured an official certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak Transport Authority. Its body closely resembles the original 1961 car, yet it's crafted entirely from lightweight carbon fiber. Unlike traditional cars, users access the cabin by lifting up the carbon fiber shell at the rear, revealing a utilitarian yet functional interior. Then there's the Pal V Liberty, a unique combination of a three-wheeled car and an auto gyro, essentially a gyro plane. Developed by PAL-V of the Netherlands, this dual-purpose vehicle requires both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license for operation. What makes the PAL-V Liberty stand out is that it's both a car and a plane, blurring the line between ground and sky. Unlike many electric flying cars, the PAL-V Liberty is powered by a combustion engine, 
allowing it to hit speeds of up to 170 km per hour on the road. When airborne, its foldable rudder enables it to cruise at speeds of up to 180 km per hour, flying as high as 3,500 meters. The Palvi Liberty is road legal in the Netherlands and offers an astonishing range of up to 500 kilometers. As the world of flying cars continues to evolve, these pioneers are pushing the boundaries of what was once thought to be mere science fiction. With technology and innovation guiding their path, the future of transportation is poised to soar to new heights. So, what are your thoughts about Toyota's plan to launch a flying car? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.